You guys are not gonna believe it. My button fell off on my fairly new pair of Kevin Klein pants. Mom, can you help me? All right guys, so we found a button that fits a similar size. My mom's gonna thread the needle first. Do you need help? Long <laughs> hole say too small. Alright, so she thread it through. Small needle. What you want is probably just uh about a foot. That should be plenty of enough. Just enough so you can close around the loops to tie a knot. Now she's doing a couple of looper loops. Right. So, um, it was relatively tight on the size 30 30. So, I'm telling my mom to probably put it around here to give me probably like a half inch of more clearance. This is where it used to be. Uh, okay, well, that's good. Enough. So testing it out. Yeah, that's about roughly the same size as the regular button. Kevin Klein, pay attention. This is how you simply just sew it. <laughs> Trying to keep it on the same line. Just loop through each hole. You can crisscross or not. It doesn't have to look pretty. I mean, who's going to pay attention to the loop of the threaded needle? Just have, to, just have to get it pretty tight in there, make sure it doesn't come off again. Okay. Alright, and to tighten it, you just have to go through the back and then loop it around to close out the loop. We actually didn't need all those threaded needles. So the more that you loop it around, the better. So it holds it in place. Uh, especially with uh, plenty of tumble through the washer. Okay. Just be safe. It's perfect, bro. Take this Okay. Now we're just gonna cut off the back. And try to close it, close it, mom. Let's see how it, where it fits. That's perfect, mom. Just like brand new. Thank you, mom. Welcome. We ended up with this pattern. You don't need anything fancy, but this looks, it looks fine. Thank goodness, this fits much better. Before it was way too tight. 